Hi everyone, it's the English Sinner here and welcome back to part 6 of my werewolf let's play in The Sims 4. I've decided that this is probably going to be a shorter let's play so I feel like I'm going to get most of my story done by like 15 parts. Kind of like a mini series because it is a game pack and obviously we have high school years coming out but I am very excited for where this is gonna go. I feel like we might have a howling good time considering we do have our second full moon. Last full moon, we got kicked out of our wolf pack. So let's see how it goes this time around. Hopefully we can have some better luck. Can we get some werewolf luck? Is that a thing that we can get? I cannot for the life of me remember if this happened on or off screen whilst I was getting to like the next day, but we did actually get werewolf mentorship. Teach other werewolves with skill and grace. Scout has been around the block and has a wealth of insight on all things werewolf. Werewolves under his guidance will receive bonus rank, mood, and relationship gains when being mentored, taught to howl, or having werewolf experiences shared with them. I shared my werewolf experiences with the one and only Jacob Volkov, and that's how we managed to unlock it. But it is turkey day, so we are gonna call everyone over I have invited over most of the Moonwood Collective because let's be real, I feel like they get on more with the one and only Scout than they could ever get on with Christopher. I like how Scout has fully taken a turn when it comes to Opal. He's like, okay, you're growing up a little bit more. I've definitely seen some hints that you might have dormant werewolf in your system, if you know what I mean. The glowing red eyes, the unbridled rage, the teething. I mean, you kind of hazard a guess that she's probably gonna grow up to be a werewolf and they somehow had werewolf in their system. Like even without him tripping and stumbling and getting infected. It might have been the case that Scout would have turned into a werewolf anyway. Maybe he was meant to turn into a werewolf and then he happened to fall on an infected stake that impaled him in an abandoned house. And that's how he thought he got the werewolf traits, but maybe that's not how he actually got this curse on him. Although I do think he's finally like warming up to the idea. I really do think him getting kicked out of the Moonwood Collective was the kick up the bum that he needed. But we are gonna thank Lily for coming over and then Werewolf Pack. We can actually ask to be a friend of the Moonwood Collective. This has been blanked out for me for the longest time considering he obviously got kicked out. They were like, yo, we don't want you back in. But now we can finally ask to be a friend again. And we're already, oh, sorry, you have to ask our leader Christopher, are you serious? Oh, can we ask to be, please, someone, oh, yeah, I accidentally forgot that I clicked on a flirty interaction with Wolfgang with Scout. Mm, I need to get rid of that. They weren't cheating, I just accidentally did it. I also kind of wanted to see whether he was our fated mate, and he isn't. Because a lot of you were like, oh, I think he might be the fated mate. Oh, why do I have to ask Christopher? Come on, Jacob. He's been like training you up to be the leader. You can let us, you can let us in, right? Oh. They really want us to ask him. Fine, I guess I'll go and grovel to Christopher. I feel like Scout just really wants to be in a pack like before the full moon hits again. And this time he's like, I'm gonna prove myself. He actually might wanna become the leader one day. I don't think he'll kind of want that on Jacob. I think he'll kind of wanna protect Jacob from that. So let's go ask Christopher if we can be part of the moon we'll collective again. Oh, he looks so unimpressed. Are you serious? It was that easy? Allow me to extend you a hearty welcome. Ugh, well then I am just gonna do... Oh, we need to do our three trials again. Okay, uh, I will demonstrate my scavenging skill. I will... No, don't give him a gift. He doesn't deserve a gift. Who do you think I am? I can hold a grudge. We are gonna discuss our Luna Epiphany skills with him. 
him. And also, finally, we are going to spar with Christopher. We've been building up, you know, we've been building our muscles big and strong. Why don't you make fun of adults with Felix? And you can also ask him for typing tips. Uh, favorably compare werewolves to vampires. I reckon she's probably like, she's like, yeah, we could work together. Vampires and werewolves, we could be the ultimate team. We can be the team rocket. Actually, no, the team rockets weren't that great, were they? When it came to the original Pokemon series. <gasps> so many seed packets. Oh my God, gonna get so much freaking money for that. Are you winning, son? I like how he invited everyone over and then was like, actually, no, I am going to, oh, I feel like he's gonna get guilt over doing this. Transformation mastery. From hanging out in beast form, he is a master of the werewolf ability. Let's be real. My little scout boy go on scout get him what is this future cube doing oh why is it floating in the air like that oh no i think we lost but he doesn't matter it doesn't matter oh my god you're looking so cute look at you in your little glasses i still can't get over how bad the fog looks like it's really not the best like look if i go like down like you can just see the layers oh my god this is like mary berry and her layers like it looks all right from the top but anything apart from that looks awful okay werewolf pack we are gonna ask to join the moonwood collective i promise i built myself a basement i have the mastered skill before we continue keep in mind that we must stand for at the moonwood collective each and every one of us must foster a good community within the pack, help the group. I've been doing that without your help, sir. You kicked me out and I was still a friend to this group, minus you, because you're a bit of a bastard. Second, we must serve as effective ambassadors of werewolves to all, representing our kind with dignity. And third, we're all expected to provide for the pack as an investment in its future. Sounds great, I'm in, let's go. <gasps> we're an Omega again, um, okay. We are going to contribute to pack resources. I am gonna give some Wolfsbane, thank you very much. And then also, mm, I kinda wanna keep a diary. I kinda wanna give that to Opal for her birthday. I wanna keep all of these actually for Opal. I feel like on her teen birthday, he's gonna be like, right, you know what? I'm gonna trust you with this knowledge and this information and you should definitely read these books if you do want to learn more about the werewolves. Okay, I am actually gonna transform back into a human because even though most of the people at my house know that we are a werewolf, I don't want him... Okay, there we go. Return to normal. I just don't feel like he's confident enough yet for that. Like, yes, he's mastered being a werewolf. Yes, he's feeling pretty confident in like... I like how his party wear actually like imitates him being a werewolf with his fur. He's like growing in confidence, but he's defo not there yet. So we're gonna actually go and box and keep working on on our athletic skill. I am absolutely, by the way, gonna sell all of these. I know some of you might see it as cheating, but you know what? I'm sick of not having feckin' money in this save. And if you can't sell your seeds, what can you do with them? We don't need all of this. Actually, I should probably plant some of them purely so that we have some stuff to give to the Moonwood Collective. Opal, why don't you go and write in your journal? It's the day before your birthday. Absolutely go write in it. You want those memories. Okay, bye gang. It was so nice hanging out with you all. Thank you for a lovely harvest fest. I will say, whenever I throw an event in The Sims 4, I just do not focus on the people that I, <laughs> I invited. You know what? We are gonna send her to sleep. I reckon she's so, so excited to age up into a teen that she's gonna I mean I say an early night it's like 11 p.m that would be like late for most kids in the sims 4 but she stays up till like 3 4 a.m most days <laughs> I am a terrible parent. The full moon is quickly approaching, but Scout knows he's resistant to its magical effects. Silly moon. The moon is just in like a silly goofy mood. You silly goose. <gasps> I haven't traveled around the world yet. Oh my God, I forgot that I could do that. <gasps> we can just tunnel to places instead of freaking 
having to like teleport, that's so handy around this world. Gotta mark something. You can't even pee, my guy. I did not give you the ability to be able to pee because it goes against your freaking nature. I hate how he has this territorial one. It does my head in. Considering that he always wants to be clean at all times, I just, I still don't feel like it suits you, Scout, which is why I haven't given you the territorial thing where you can just like go piss girl all over the place. Now you're not gonna go to sleep just yet. You are going to cook. We are gonna make a cake for little Opal. I don't know what it is, but I've absolutely loved my Sims making zombie cakes for their like young kids. So we're gonna have him make a zombie one. Oh, Scout got up super early for her because he was like, right, I wanna throw her a little birthday party. So he's got the birthday candles on. She's gonna come talk to him. We're gonna give him a heartfelt compliment. You know what? Big Brother kind of pulled it out of the bag on this one. Giving us a zombie cake with its brain like half open. And we are going to make a wish as little Opal. Let's get it. I turned this off. Why does it keep coming up? Oh, stop. He's singing like happy birthday to her. I love this man with my whole ass heart. Why is he like the sweetest big brother ever? He's so happy for her. Here it is, Scout. Why does it say this? I wanted her to be freaking dormant. I think I messed it up when I set them up. Maybe I can fix it. I can fix her. So she is gloomy. I actually want to make her a jealous sim because she has always been a little bit jealous that Scout is in fact a werewolf. Oh, girly, I need to give you a makeover. Why are you looking so sad? Opal has grown into a fully fledged werewolf. No, she hasn't. Don't listen to it. The game is lying to you. It's all good. It's all good. I think I saved it. I mean, it happens to the best of us. This is what happens with The Sims 4. Sometimes shit happens and you have to roll with it. So I'm going to roll with it. For story integrity, I'm not going to pretend that that didn't exist. I'm not going to edit it out of this video. I want to show you that even with the best storylines in mind, who am I to say that this is the best storyline? <laughs> Excusez-moi, but... There are issues when you set things up and that was solely my mistake. So I do apologize for that indeed. You're gonna continue to eat your ham dinner though, Opal. I did change her up a little bit. She is stunning, like come off it now. Like obviously related to Scout, she was gonna be stunning. And I kind of like stuck with her style a little bit. I didn't wanna change her like too much just yet. I do think she's gonna evolve uh, throughout the uh, like age of her being a teenager from waking up oh, near a yeah. nightlight stop that is well cute why don't you clean up all of these hair piles she did not like that food as you know it is a full moon i still don't think scout really trusts himself i also still don't think he paid too much attention as to like what time he actually like changed into a wolf so i think he's probably gonna lock himself away from the time it starts to get dark if you remember I know it's been a while since I recorded this but we built the little bunker I added in a little bit more because I got like a bit of money don't ask me why she's not in school but I guess we'll figure we'll get a head start we'll do our homework for sure <gasps> look at them both rocking blue so cute I want to give Opal her birthday present I definitely want to give her Gregorius's uh one of his diaries anyway so more choices Excuse me? I did not set this as your collar. When the hell did that happen? I did not give her pearls. I am not a pearl girl personally and also definitely not for Luna. She's technically Opal's dog and Opal definitely isn't a pearl girly. Maybe Scout just got it for her. Scout was like, you're gonna be the prettiest little queen when I take you for your jog. They don't even look like pearls though. They literally just look like, you know those magnetic balls that you have? Like, like as a kid, that's what they look like. Oh damn, we're going for a jog jog. Yeah, you can like new disco music, why not? Actually, whilst your brother's out, <laughs> oh, Paul, you're funny. We're going 
gonna come harvest all of this nearby. So actually, we're just gonna harvest the wolf spain. So let's grab some of that. He'll never ever notice that it went. And then carry on doing your homework before he gets back. Shaky. Oh look, all Scout has to do is become an alpha of the Moonwood Collective. Refined lupines turn their nose up at the thought of losing control of their fury, passively generating less of it over time. Ooh. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. She is such a sneaky one. Just like out here pretending that she's been doing her homework this entire time. She's like, oh, the TV and like the sweets were distracting me. So was the music. So I decided to like move into my bedroom. That's why I've moved, Scout. All right, we're back home. Scout, we are gonna, hmm, you're gonna take a bath. Go to the toilet, eat, grab everything that you need to grab. Actually, let me open this up. Let's see if we have any food. This has four days until it's spoiled. Two days, 17 hours. Okay, we'll take this downstairs with us and we're gonna lock Scout away. Just basically getting his needs up. Oh, and then we need to give Opal her gift. So more traces, friendly. Give gift, we are gonna give a friendly gift. The Diary of Gregorius Lunvik. And then also we're gonna give her some more gifts. Some more books. We want her to know all about werewolves. I know it sounds like he's changed his tune, but like he's literally said like, if you still like want to be a werewolf by the time you are a teenager and you actually like read up on this and know about being a werewolf and the responsibilities that it is and like the hazards that come with it, I will happily introduce you to more werewolves. So this is kind of like a bargain that they've had since Opal was young. You're scared from a bowl of sweets? Stop it. You're Opal. That absolutely would not happen. Get out of that bed this instant. Basically, because I want your brother to give you some prezzies. Oh, yeah, she's happy about it. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad. Jesse would be so proud. The entire history. <gasps> An insider's guide to being a werewolf. Okay. Yep, let's give her that one. Werewolf stereotypes uh, and the entire history of Moonwood Mill. All right, Scout, give some pets, give some kisses to uh, Luna and then you, my guy, are gonna go here. Oh, damn, Oval taking herself off to like strengthen up. She's like, Pfft. If this is gonna happen, I'm gonna be the strongest wolf out there, okay? I am not missing a second of working on my athletic skill. I'm sorry, Scout. I feel so bad doing this, but you wanted to do this, okay? This is on you. Does he have the one where he can just... Oh, I want this one where he can curl up into a ball. I definitely am not gonna get to an apex wolf. Being locked up in a freaking tiny room. All right, Opal, now that you've worked out, we are gonna read the entire history of Moonwood Mill. I absolutely freaking love how whenever my Sims are like on the sofa, Luna just comes over and snuggles up to them. She's so freaking cute. I felt bad that Scout had like legit nothing to do. So I thought that he could carry on working on his fitness skill. So I put the punching bag down here. It's also not the one with vampires on, by the way. Just as a clarification, he's not like dreaming about punching his boyfriend. Okay, Opal, we have decided to go for a little outdoor swim. So let's go swim around. I mean, how could you resist a lake that's like covered in fog? You know, her hygiene is a little bit low. So she's like, you know what? I'll just go for a cheeky little swim. I've never soul swam in the Luna Lake before. There's something mysterious and magical about swimming in Lake Lunvik under a full moon. Okay, let's not freeze ourselves to death though. Bestie, let's uh, get inside and probably put in some warm clothes or maybe not. 
Oh my word, why are you running around like that? Rampage! Opal's fury is unleashed. Werewolves who are rampaging on a merciless warpath have little control of themselves. The path at all werewolves walk on is certainly cruel. She is a run! Opal is now a werewolf run. She's starting to get the hang of this werewolf thing. We got a new oh, temperament. <gasps> This is what happens! This is what happens when you are a- Oh my god, she's like an ice wolf? Is that because she turned when it was freezing? Stop it. Oh my word. What do we have? Sensitive hearing. These werewolf enhanced ears mean the world can be a terrible cacophony fucking love that word sometimes things like the tv loud radio instruments and other noise cause fury to rise in the sim also mm, i don't really like that she's frisky i might remove that and see like what else we can get or i might also just choose one like at random but oh that's actually sick i don't think it's actually because she changed when she was cold but like that's sick that she looks like an ice wolf so she's just like howling she is on a rampage she has some werewolf abilities available she's already a run she went straight from put to run. I don't actually know how that happened. Maybe because I didn't set her up correctly. That could have been on me. Why am I doing a page from Love Island? Stop bubbling your head like that. We are gonna go for ferocity for sure. She's gonna be a little bit of a troublemaker. We all know it. She's a mischievous sim. She always kind of has been. Oh my god, she already got transformation mastery. Staying contained and away from others because she did it in a freaking lake. We're gonna be a scavenger. Enhanced smell for sure and we'll go for hunting i also want her to have ferocious hunger she just turned she doesn't know how to control this she's not part of a pack she's not really like obviously she's seen how scout interacts with being a wolf but she's never wanted to do that so she's just like I'm just gonna go the complete opposite way, thank you very much. That's actually sick. I'm so glad that the dormant wolf one actually worked. Oh, hell yeah. Oh yeah, I'm loving it. This storyline is sick. Oh, Scout's gonna be so worried that he can just like hear howling. He's gonna be like, what the hell is going on? Like, obviously it's a full moon, so he's gonna hear howling anyway. <gasps> he's gonna come upstairs and like, everything's gonna be smashed. Oh no. Oh, jeez. Little rampaging opal. What a sight to see. Ooh, we can like smell here. I kind of want to see what that does. Cause we've obviously never had like the heightened, uh, um, what's this like following her around? I have no idea what that like smoke is. I kind of want to go scare someone. Is that bad? Can we even travel? I think we can. I was like, can we travel whilst we uh, rampage? We're heading on over to the bar. We're gonna try and make some money off scaring people. I love that she's kind of just gonna be uh, like a teenager who causes freaking mayhem. Oh. Hey, hey Lou, what's going on? It's ladies night and the feeling's right. Oh yeah, it's ladies night. Oh, what a night. We are gonna snarl at Lou. Oh my God, Lou is hench. <gasps> Judith Ward, ferocious intimidation, let's do it. Oh, Lou looks so scared of us. She's got loads of fucking money. She's a global superstar. Judith, stop throwing a hissy fit. Give me my fucking money. Just let me intimidate you, girl. Why can't I intimidate anyone? I'm just T-posing. I don't even have high school. How can I be doing the T-pose challenge? <gasps> it's because everyone's fainting over Lou. Or us. I don't know. Did they faint over us? Oh my god, am I just making everyone faint? Can I steal their money whilst they're on the floor? No. Oh, she's changing back. God damn it. I didn't even get to intimidate everyone. Are you kidding me? Hey, oh, 
Oh, I thought you were going to be Nikki, to be fair, but you're not. You're dressed in your swimsuit. Worst headache imaginable from recovering after a werewolf rampage. Thanks to Scout's lunar resistance, he can block out most of the negative influence. The good man is straight. You just feckin' rampaged all over town. How can you be in the range to earn good manners? But there we go. I feel like this part's been super long, so I'm gonna end it there. That was actually a lot of fun. I've been wanting to play this part for such a long time. Yes, it had its bumps in its road, but that was purely my fault. It definitely wasn't the game. I just forgot that like I set her up incorrectly. I honestly kind of want to get rid of the frisky considering that we've already seen it. I know that these are like meant to be random, but you can technically like add your own. I'm going to look at a list and uh, and see which one I feel like fits her. Yeah, you know what? I don't feel guilty doing this. So I'm going to remove the frisky temperament. But yeah, I don't feel guilty adding this one because I feel like it makes sense with like who Opal is and her story because obviously she like was awake a lot at night when she was a kid. I feel like it just fits in way more than the flirty one. So we're gonna go for Nightwolf. There we go. Nightwolves prefer sleeping during the day and gain fury when deviating from a nocturnal sleep cycle. She's been nocturnal from basically when she came out of the womb and it's all starting to make sense because it worked and we got a dormant werewolf i'm absolutely fucking buzzing i hope you all enjoyed this part i know it's a little bit all over the place excuse me i haven't recorded a werewolf part in a hot minute all right i just had to get to grips with things but thank you all so much for tuning in i cannot wait for the next one, which is unfortunately probably gonna have a little bit of a weight on it considering high school years comes out this week. So I do apologize. Also, my short lifespan legacy isn't canceled. It's just because I've been focusing on like the pack stuff that's kind of been put on the back burner. It will still continue like once my schedule frees up a little bit, but thank you all so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye now.